Research conducted in our laboratories has confirmed that when an individual is in heart coherence, the heart radiates a more coherent electromagnetic energy field that can benefit people, animals, and the environment. A growing body of scientific evidence suggests that when there is coherent group cooperation, it results in increased flow, effectiveness, and the potential for higher outcomes. It seems as though the group participants are not only in sync, but are communicating on an unseen, energetic level. Our personal coherence can benefit our families, co-workers, friends, pets, and more, simply by our presence. From our research, we know that heart coherence is not an idle state. It reaches out, it influences and supports others in many beneficial ways. Did you know that a horse's heart rhythms reflect what they're feeling? and that these same rhythms show how horses can sense the emotional state of nearby humans? Humans have long reported strong emotional bonds with animals. We have heard the statement, horses can sense when you're afraid, but did you know they can also sense when you're feeling uplifting emotions like appreciation? Research conducted by Anne Baldwin and Professor Ellen Gerke with assistance from the HeartMath Institute is helping uncover just how this is possible. In the studies, electrocardiogram recorders were placed on the human and horse participants to capture their heart rate variability. HRV is highly sensitive to changes in emotional states. When you're feeling anxious, for instance, your HRV takes on an incoherent pattern. Whereas when you're feeling appreciation, that would be associated with a coherent HRV pattern, which has been shown to have numerous mental, emotional, and physical health benefits. Back on the ranch in the first study, Dr. Gerke sat in a corral with her horse Tonopah, neither touching nor petting him. She practiced a heart math technique called heart lock-in, focusing on the feelings of love and appreciation she had for her horse. Researchers expected that Ellen's HRV would take on the coherent pattern we mentioned before, but Tonopah's HRV also shifted to a more coherent pattern, indicating that he was able to sense and respond to the emotional information carried by the energetic field of Ellen's heart. The experiment was replicated successfully with several different human horse pairs. Interestingly, in a follow-up study, Dr. Baldwin also noticed large increases in both the horse and human's VLF rhythms during their interactions with each other. This increase did not occur when humans were interacting with other humans, only when they interacted with the horses. VLF is an intrinsic rhythm generated by the heart's intrinsic nervous system, also called the heart brain and plays a pivotal role in our health and well-being. Reduced VLF has been correlated with an increased risk for major health challenges. Another point of note, horses have naturally high amplitudes of the VLF rhythm. So could this increase in a person's VLF be an indicator of the positive effects the horse may be having on the human? Um, there is one activity and I want to show you um, a picture because it's, you know, Ali is here with us. So you can see that right away. This is Ali with one of my horses and she is doing uh, what we call the energy hug. And that is something that Janina, you could do with the horses that you will visit once you have like met them in a, in a calm, harmonious way. So it's, it shouldn't be the first thing that you do when you go in, but once they are like gathered around you and, and you feel accepted, you could do that. It's really important that your hands are in this position, like on the neck, right where it meets the shoulder, because that is an energy point where several meridians meet. And well, you know, if you want to know about chakras and meridians, and there's a lot of a lot of um, theory and a lot of knowledge around it, but um, you don't have to know exactly why it works. It just does. So keep your hands still, right? 
with um, as the, the fingers closed and do not pet the horse. That's difficult. <laughs> if, you, if you touch a horse, you wanna pet it, you wanna move your hands. Don't do that. Just let them sit there and, and feel into this, right? So what you wanna do is mentally connect to the horse. You can think something like, you can do heart math, you can think calm or connection or softness or something like that. And you try to pick up what the horse is feeling. So this picture here is not um, a real, very deep energy hug moment because we were there with photographers. So everybody was like, you know, onto something else. If the horse is really participating in the energy hug, they will drop their head and close their eyes and, and be like heavy. Their head might be heavy on your shoulders, okay? Here the horse is alert and looking into the, into the distance, but once they do connect, their head drops and their eyes close, but the picture is just so nice. So 